Huge night in entertainment news. City is letting us in on the most anticipated shows we can expect this fall. It's called The Blacklist. That sounds exciting. I'm talking about the criminals who matter, the ones you don't even know exist. 12 new hits coming to City for the fall primetime schedule, including The Blacklist. We hand over the slug and you make that grand jury go away. Star Diego Klatenoff was live on breakfast television this morning. How do I know you're going to hold up your hand? Talking about the crime drama's ongoing success. I give you my word. The writing of the fans. And, you know, it, I think it's everybody's got to be very happy that we're going into season five. I know it's always a crazy adventure when you start a TV show, but, I mean, it was, uh, it was obvious from, from day one that it was a special show. Another show you'll catch here on City is The Resident. Star Manish Dial tells us about the obstacles his character faces. This very young and naive new resident intern who comes into the hospital with dreams of, of saving lives and, and, and changing the world, and soon he realizes that there are politics in a hospital like any other profession that will prohibit him from reaching those, those, those goals, and so he has to sort of persevere and push past all of those limitations. I'd like to welcome you on Jackpot Airlines Flight 1610, service to lost wages. And there will also be a lot of laughs with a workplace comedy set high in the sky, L.A. to Vegas. We're stuck on a plane every weekend, mm -hmm. L.A. to Vegas, and then Vegas back to L.A. the next day. And right. So you see everybody's hopes and dreams going into the weekend. It's like you're hosting the Olympics in your liver. Yeah, well, Russia's in the lead, but Mexico's coming on strong. I play Ronnie, the head flight attendant, okay. on, on the flight, and she is big dreams, you know, uh, she has a lot of hopes for her life, and she just has not uh, made the right decisions. She's an incredibly impulsive person, and that has gotten her into a little bit of trouble. Altogether, there will be 12 new shows to watch, including five comedies, four dramas, and three Canadian titles. For Entertainment City, I'm Terry Hart.